Okay, um, it is now tested, working. A uh, little bit of video issue where sometimes it doesn't show up and I'm thinking that's my monitor or this video cable. I think, I hope. Um, this is only the second time I've got it up and running uh, and it showed the screen when it was loading the game and then I had audio and no video. I opened the PC case and wiggled the video cable and it came back. I don't know what's up with that, if it was the cable. I kept on wiggling the cable and it didn't cut out again. So hopefully that's not an actual issue. But um, I did change a couple things. What I changed was the front panel that had the test and service buttons in it. I took those out because the power button over here uh, realized that I couldn't use it for power. The reason is it's a momentary push button. So if you press it and hold it down, the power supply will turn on. As soon as you let it go, the power supply turns off. So it's not a physical on-off switch. It's a momentary switch where you just it just when you first uh, press it down, it makes contact, uh, and then as soon as you let it go, it breaks contact. So the power supply would just come on and off. So can't use that for a power supply. There might be a, I'm sure there's a circuit I could look up and like build a circuit or something to make that work. But I figured why bother? I'll just make this the test button and this the service button. And then I don't have to have those in that 3D printed front panel. So that's what I've done. Uh, this case did not come with all the panels. So obviously there was a DVD or Blu-ray drive or something in here and um, I didn't get the slot cover for that so I still am going to 3D print something to go in there. Um, I could 3D print what I've got in a couple other PCs which is a basically a drawer. Um, it's It fits in there and then there's a a physical drawer you can pull out so you can put stuff in so I could maybe put an HDMI and an audio cable in there and then close it um, the only thing is that I think an HDMI cable because I want at least six feet long um, I'm not sure if it would coil up and fit in the available space or not so that's something that needs to be done I just need to print something to put it there and it can't go up here because the plug for the HDMI that takes an HDMI cable in the back uh, it sticks down too far to be able to put anything in the top slot so that's why I had the test and service switch down here so but I should be able to I think I can fit the pull-out tray in this slot. If not, it would be in this slot. But either way, I, I I've done it. Like I said, I've got I've got them in two other PCs, and they do work pretty good for storing things. Um, they don't snap into place when you shut the door, so those doors can come out on their own if there's enough weight in there, and you tilt the case forward, they can slide out. Um, but it's a heck of a lot cheaper to 3D print one than to buy one that does have a proper catch that keeps it from opening on its own. So that needs to be done. Um, so yeah, so now we got test, service, player one here. Again, player two over there is wired all the way down into the PC. So if I get another USB converter board... I could hook a player two up there. Um, this is the cable that's going to my speakers. Um, I had to use an adapter 
mini stereo goes into the PC and then RCA here that goes to mini stereo into my portable speaker just because I don't have a mini to mini uh, cable. I do but I don't know where it is. And then the HDMI in the door as I've shown before. Everything else is pretty much the same. I did change the Naomi that I had in there. The one I had in there I forgot was the one that was not working that has video that cuts in and out and also um, I played a couple games on it and it locked up with uh, memory allocation error playing under defeat and then I loaded Ikaruga and it just locked up um, before the game even started and so I was trying to figure out what I could have done wrong if I had maybe burnt out the Naomi or something while I was te um, testing and putting everything together and that's when I realized that this is the Naomi that I have problems with or it was the one that I put in there was the Naomi that I had problems with and I was using that one so that while I had it in and out and was plugging things into it if I did something it was to an already damaged Naomi so I put a different one in had to change cases as well to swap the fan over that was easier than just swapping the fan um, and now that I talk about it I th think that there might not be a battery in this one well no it's got free play so there must be a battery in this one so I think maybe it's the other one that I swapped out that doesn't have a battery in it I'm not sure actually that's a something now I'm gonna have to check and pull that net dim off of the Naomi and see if I actually did put a battery in there because I think this one had a old battery but anyway there you go it's running And again, I'm playing this with one hand here, but it shows that it is working. And when I, you get blown up in this game, there is a pause, so that's not the game freezing. That's actually just like that. That's actually how this game runs. It also has slowdown when there gets to be a lot of stuff on the screen but it is one of the, I think, nicest looking, anyway, um, Naomi shoot 'em ups Very fun game. So yeah, um, I also, I got my, my uh, audio splitter cables in. So not only do I have the audio now going out to this powered speaker, but if I take this into my living room and hook it up to my big screen TV, the audio will be going out on the HDMI cable. So all I have to do is hook the HDMI cable up to the television and then it will be carrying the video and audio signal. I haven't tested that yet either, but it should work. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I guess I'm going to declare this project done unless I decide to add uh, player two controls to it and then I would just be getting the second undamned decoder, mounting it in one of the drive bays, and then wiring it up to the Tucson Logic JBS bridge. So, hooray, successful project. Oh, and the fans are nice and quiet since I replaced the Naomi fan. So if you hear fan noise, that's actually my personal PC that's got 
nine fans in it uh, and water cooling that's making the majority of the noise in this room not this PC with its four fans so I mean you can still hear this game and I've got it the volume pretty darn low and you can hear it just fine over the fans of the system so yeah turned out pretty darn good. I'm happy.